example it's pretty uh, simple and straightforward the next one is going to be a little bit complicated we are going to uh, in the same database we will be using products data and um, let's say there's a request by the customer that they would like to see average price per product category in your product table and then after that they would like you to uh, they would like to see this information in a store table so basically it's a two-step process we will get the information first and then we will stick this into a table and for this one it says uh, there's a hint that we should write the select query first and then the procedure so I'm going to go ahead and switch to uh, management studio uh, currently I'm connected to my local instance but I am going to go ahead and connect to our cloud server uh, that's up there in the cloud let me use this and as for his database I am using a um, sales database um, actually the structure is uh, pretty much similar to Northwind database so uh, some of you who may have worked with SQL um, server in the past would be pretty familiar with this so as far as our customers uh, table if I run a select query here and actually I need to do this in sales database so in SQL Azure you pretty much have to um, select a session in the correct database otherwise it will not work uh, I just ran the query and here's the information I have basically things like customer ID company name uh, contact name so on and so forth in here and uh, if you go down to stored procedures I actually have these uh, two procedures in there already so I'm going to go ahead and kill these first I was uh, practicing this stuff before so it's actually good that I checked before I ran this so I uh, saved some of this code or already on my computer so let me go ahead and pull this one first and we'll kind of walk you through this so uh, let's take a look at what we have in here basically it says it's a simple procedure to pull uh, customer data by city and country so like I mentioned you start with a uh, with a statement create procedure in this case we are uh, going to it's it's under DBO that's the schema here's the name of the procedure and notice that we are passing in uh, two parameters like we mentioned one is going to be city it is a varchar so it's a character data type and then we have a country and then that is also a varchar you're going to use the as clause and then uh, I actually have a statement in here that's uh, typically used for best practices uh, which is set no count on what this does is it suppresses messages about the number of rows returned so um, if you if you turn this option on it will help you slightly with the performance okay now here is essentially our uh, main SQL code so I'm doing a select from customers and here is where I am using my parameters that I'm passing so it's saying that okay select all the data from customers table where the value in this column is equal to percent city and I didn't mention that everything in SQL uh, server if you start a parameter it has to stand start with ampersand okay so coming back to this it's simply saying that I want all the customers that are in this city and are in this country so pretty pretty straightforward uh, procedure I am going to go ahead and uh, compile this I have some comments on the bottom which is actually what I'm going to use to execute it so for now <clears throat> I can uh, cut this out so uh, that's all I have in this procedure is a simple select statement passing in a couple of parameters and I'm going to go ahead and execute this so it executes now if I refresh this we should have a proc in here and from here you can uh, definitely uh, you know script it out or whatnot another thing you can do you may not be aware of this but uh, <clears throat> let me open up another session here um, 
And if you do have a proc, if you select the actual proc and hit Alt key and F1, so it's ALT key plus F1, it will actually give you information on the proc. So you can see that, okay, you're passing in two parameters. Here's the name of the proc. And uh, <clears throat> another side note is if you wanted to know the definition or some of the text, I mean, you could simply obviously go to the design, but you could also do this where I'm going to uh, use SP health text, which is a system procedure. And actually, let me change this to text. Now, if I look on my, in my bottom window, it actually gives you the definition uh, of the stored procedure. So just a side note uh, that will help you working with stored procedures. Now, if I come in here, um, this piece of the co piece of code is what actually will run the procedure. Okay, so we start with the declare statement. We go city, varchar. Then we have uh, the next one, which is country, uh, which is also defined a varchar 50. We are going to go ahead and set the value for these parameters. Okay, so it's London, UK. And then we will simply go ahead and execute the procedure. Uh, parameter one, parameter two. So if I select this and go ahead and execute it, you know, we, we get these records on the bottom. <coughs> Excuse me. So we have a company name. If we scroll to the right, uh, you'll notice that we have a city of London here, and the country of UK. Okay. Another way you could have done this is simply come here. And by the way, uh, SQL Azure, like SQL Server, does not care if you are writing stuff in um, upper or lower cases. So I will go this first parameter, and then I'll do a comma, and then second one. This should technically return <clears throat> the same number of rows. So that was a fairly simple example. Um, nothing terribly complicated. Uh, but it's nevertheless a good a good idea on how to get started with procs. The next one, like I mentioned, is um, it's it's going to be pulling proc uh, products data. We would like to see uh, the key is average price per product category, okay? And then uh, we would also like to uh, see this information stored in a table, okay? Uh, so we have to do two things here. Um, in this proc, I do have this uh, also um, saved, but I mean, I, I will basically walk you through this. And that way you can uh, see everything step by step. So um, the two tables we're interested in is products, which is right here. Uh, I can open this by doing a select statement. And, uh, you know, it's a simple table. We've got the product name. We got product ID, and here's the here's the foreign key that is going to go tie back to the categories, which is this table, and it does have the category category ID field. If I script this one, we can look at some of this data. So let's see, the category one is beverages. If I come back to uh, 21, you'll ne notice that chai, which is uh, actually one of my favorite drinks, uh, is is indeed part of category one, which is beverages. Okay, so we need to we need to basically tie uh, the data using this field, and in the products, you'll notice that <clears throat> the price we're interested in in doing the average is this one right here, which is unit price. Okay, so. Um, before I get going, like I mentioned, I'm going to, um, actually, let me just start turn everything to upper caps. I'm going to do a select uh, star from, <clears throat> we'll just uh, start basically typing in some information here. I'm going to go um, categories, join products, okay, and this one at the end, this PR, PROD is just an alias, which will help you save some text, uh, some typing, I guess. So we're going to join on category ID equal to prod dot category ID. So let me see if I can pull some information here, which I do. Now what I want to do is I actually want would like to limit some of these uh, 
columns that I'm returning. So I will start with, let's see, cat, cat. <clears throat> well, I don't need everything. So I think what I need uh, to do is just get the category name. Because remember, we need to uh, do that. We're trying to average on that. And the other one is going to be simply prod.unit price, I believe is, yeah. So price from, okay, so really, um, <clears throat> we, we really want to, you know, add this. So let me do this one more thing here. Okay, so in other words, what, what we're trying to achieve is that all these products that we have, so it looks like we have about 12 products, okay? You know, we would like to get the average price for these, okay? And basically just show one line, uh, line item that will say like, okay, beverages, average price, okay? So what we need to do is we need to do a little bit of grouping here. Um, so I will do group by, okay? And I will do this, I will copy this over. <clears throat> Actually, it's, uh, we're simply going to be grouping by category name, and here we would like to see average price. Okay, so before I run this, let's just go over this real quick. We're saying, okay, return category name, average price, this table, join with products table on this field, and then group by this. I think I believe this should look, this looks good, maybe not. I think I got some syntax issues here. Okay, here it is. So that's perfect. Um, and looks like it's sorted already, so I don't have to worry about that. So, so this is.